Hello, welcome everybody. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 6th of July. Now, if you are new to my channel, I just pretty much let my guides channel through to you. I discuss global energies as well as the great awakening process a lot here. Um, so stay watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like buttons and of course hit the bell notification because that lets you know when I pop up and we'll get started. <laughs> oh, they're just saying that these global leaders and these people in charge think they're the absolute bee's knees. They think they have got this all sorted now and that they can just roll everything out and they can implement whatever they want. Their agenda is going to go smooth and the path will just unfold. But as we know, that's not going to happen. The guides are saying that they're um, going to have a lot more hiccups yet. This, this is not going to be a smooth journey for government um, and they're going to find that out really quickly. Um, oh, people are really up in arms. This is the people waking up. Um, they're overwhelmed. They're overworked. Oh God. They're underpaid. Uh, the injustice, see it comes back to the injustice. People are seeing the injustice of all this. It's not sitting right with people. Um, government's not delivering the things that they promised. Hmm, and that's, that's very unusual for government, isn't it? To be voted in and um, not deliver. Um, in fact, people are just, this is the people waking up. They feel like they're getting the opposite of what they um, voted people in for. Um, they keep, they're changing their minds and, and that's what people are seeing. They're seeing that dishonesty. That, that's becoming very highlighted. Again, it's that neon sign. Um, dishonesty, dishonesty. I'm getting that. This is around global leaders and parliamentary leaders. People are seeing it because people are hurting. People are hurting in all aspects of their life. They're hurting with how they feel. They're hurting with um, being dictated to. They're hurting with their finances. Every avenue is hurting these people waking up. Um, hang on. Oh God, they're showing me like people just want to get on the drink. <laughs> people just want to get on the drink. They want to relax. They want to escape all this. Um, virtually what they're saying is people just want to escape. They're just looking for escapism now. People are wanting to have fun. They're wanting to have joy. They're wanting to just float away. And you know, that's why they're probably mentioning that little bit of alcohol because that can make you relax and get your mind off things. That's just an example. But people are wanting to escape all this BS and rubbish and garbage that is coming at them. They, they just want to run away from government, basically. That's what I'm getting. Um, I'll see what else we get. People are seeing these government um, leaders like the Tin Man. Um, they're seeing them without um, a heart. They feel like these government leaders, well, we know Trudeau, Tin Man, hasn't got a heart. Um, that's how people are seeing them. They're seeing them as heartless um, monsters, dictators, and they're seeing them like the Tin Man out of Wizard of Oz. We talk a lot on here about Wizard of Oz, um, and they're seeing them as the Tin Man. They think that these people are heartless and they don't care about the little people, which we know they don't care about the little people. Um, it's always about them and feeding their ego and feeding their um, wallets and their purses and keeping their wealth and all their power growing. Um, but this is what's happening. People feel like people are looking at government now like the Tin Man that he's got no heart um, and they're like hard on the outside. Um, I'll see what else we get today. Now what I'm getting for these people waking up is they're really hitting their feeling responses now. I've been talking on here a couple of weeks about us staying really anonymous and keeping ourselves detached from these people waking up because they're having to go into their feeling places. They're having to feel feelings and emotions. Now we know having gone through the soul breakdown and awakening process that that can be very scary for a lot of people. To have to go deep into your feelings that you might have suppressed for many many years is not an easy process and this is what the soul breakdown does. It causes these feelings to rise to the surface. So I'm definitely getting this sort of turbulence, um, animosity, 
um, people are really rising up now. Um, I talked this morning in that video about the infighting now. They're fighting amongst themselves, they're arguing. Um, some people are highlighting um, and planting seeds to others as well, because that's not our job now. We've done our job. We can move away from all that garbage now because that's not ours to be involved with. These people waking up now have to face their own feelings and they're not ours. So as empaths or sensitives or whoever, pretty much most of us are on this channel, um, we can take on a lot of these things. So that's why I always say it's very important to just sort of blend in and um, be incognito and just, um, tuck yourself away a little bit um, to stay really um, safe in your own energy is what I'm saying. Um, I'll see if there's any closing messages today. Yeah, I'm still getting like, stay brave, stand up when you have to, um, retreat when you need to, because this is about um, resting and recouping yourself as well and staying, um, keeping your vibration up and your energy up. Um, And they're saying like these battles are only for the brave anyway. So <laughs> these people, and this is what I'm getting, these people waking up are becoming more brave. See, they have not stood up to government like we did in the very beginning. They were too frightened. Their fear and everything was too raw and it was too, they were too scared and too frightened, but now they're getting brave. They're starting to find that inner strength and they're starting to um, fight back. They're starting to fight back and it's so good. I know they're protesting and striking and we've got lots of things happening. Gosh, there's farmers, isn't there, over in America, I think it is. There's, it's, it's happening. People are standing up. They're starting to find their, their inner Mel Gibson and their brave heart within. They're starting to stand up. Um, I'll just see if there's any closing messages today. Excuse my dog, Sophie. Yeah, I'm getting this Knights of the Round Table is growing. Now, I've talked on here before about us being the, Sophie come, about us being the Knights of the Round Table and how the guides have knighted us. Well, now they're starting to knight a lot of other people who are really coming forward in their truths. Now, I've talked about, oh, Sophie, you've got to put your bum there. Sprocket, come here. Um, I've talked about that before, that it takes a lot of bravery to stand your truth. I know I've got some people on here who have been vaccine injured and who have lost their jobs after many, many years. And it takes a lot of bravery to speak out against um, government and to speak out against people who are wanting to kind of squash you. Um, so I'm definitely getting that they're finding that real brave heart, that Mel Gibson within. And the, the guides are kind of bringing more people to the Knights of the Round Table because this is gonna be a big movement going forward. I guess you could almost relate it back to the blob movement we created <coughs> earlier in the year. Um, it's like the blob that's this entity, that entity, entity rather of goodness, which just keeps growing and expanding. And we're really trying to make a difference in the world. And what happens with the blob movement, people stick to it. So it just keeps growing and expanding and growing and expanding. And, and it keeps just slowly moving forward at a really nice pace. Um, like I always say to you, the waking up process can't be rushed. We often talk about it's as slow as a snail and it's like a little tortoise getting along. But the waking up process has to happen at the right times. And it's also about, I always talk about people getting the right information at the right time so they can like absorb it without being overwhelmed and, and closing off to it and again going back into that denial. We don't want that happening. We need them to really see all the facts um, and, and put it all together themselves. But I definitely people are facing those feelings now and they're starting to find their bravery. Um, I'll see if there's anything um, to finish off today. They're showing me like an eclipse. So what they're saying is like, you know how when you have an eclipse and and the light disappears and it passes over itself. There's a, a moment of complete darkness. Well, then you suddenly start to see the light again. And it's it's that's what's currently happening at the moment. Oh, Sprocket. There's an eclipse of the waking up because it's like their life is changing bef before their very eyes. So that's what the soul breakdown is. And, and they're gonna go through that darkness and then they'll start to come through to the light. So I'm definitely getting that visual of an eclipse 
today and that's for the people waking up not for us they're definitely starting to see things differently and that's what I always say to us about this waking up process and a lot of you have admitted that too we see things with great clarity I talk about our crystal glasses and how we see the sky is much bluer and the grip the grass is greener well not here because it's winter but everything seems richer and clearer in color and the energy like look at my dog just he's so loving I do love this big boy um, and that's what I'm definitely getting is that you know these other people waking up are now starting to see things um, much brighter and that's why I'm getting that eclipse energy because it, the light is kind of coming out again it's like the dark they were in that darkness for a period but now the, they're emerging and the lights um, starting to get brighter a sprocket <laughs> anyway it looks like I'm gonna have to leave you with that today guys because Sprocket's wanting my attention again um, I'll say goodbye from Australia have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow morning take care everybody don't forget to smash the like buttons and I'll see you very soon say goodbye Sprock <laughs> bye <laughs>